Tell me the answer for this question. A relation with just two attributes. If you have a relation with only two attributes, can I say it is necessarily in BCNF? And the answer is yes. Okay. If you have two attributes, then it is mandatory that it will be in BCNF. Why? What is the reason? If you have two attributes, for example, if your relation has two attributes, like for example, A comma B, then what are the possible scenarios? There are four cases. Yes or no? There are four cases. The case one is there is no non-trivial FD. This is the case one that there is no non-trivial FD. We have no non-trivial FD. In this situation, because you have no non-trivial FD, so automatically the relation is in BCNF because there is no BCNF violation. Correct? So if you have no non-trivial FD, if there is no non-trivial FD, then in this situation, what I will say? So basically in this situation means A does not determine B and B does not determine A. Okay. So in this situation, I can say that relation will be in BCNF because, because there is no non-trivial FD. You have no non-trivial FD. So in this situation, it will be in BCNF because there is no BCNF violation. Okay. When the BCNF violation happens, can anyone tell me when the BCNF violation will happen? In which situation BCNF violation will happen? Your relation R is not in BCNF. Is not in BCNF. When can I say it is not in BCNF? It is not in BCNF if and only if there exists a non-trivial FD. Yes or no? There must exist a non-trivial FD. You must have at least one non-trivial FD. There must exist a non-trivial FD. X determining A where this X is not a super key. Where this X is not a super key. Okay, so this type of FD must, this type of non-trivial FD must exist. Correct? This type of non-trivial FD must exist. So if you have no non-trivial FD, then automatically your relation will be in BCNF. What is case two? What is case two? The case two is that A determines B. This is your FD. A determines B. Then here you can notice what is your candidate key. Your candidate key is A. Okay. And you can notice this is your only non-trivial FD. So this is in BCNF. So this is in BCNF because this A is a super key. Because this A is a super key. And what is the case number three? The case number three is B determining A. The same situation will happen here also. And the case number four, that is A determines B and B determines A. So in this situation, the candidate key will be A comma B. A is also candidate key. B is also candidate key. Then in this situation also you have BCNF. And in this situation also you have BCNF. In this situation, your candidate key is B. Okay. So like this. So whatever case is there, case one, case two, case three, case four, four cases are there in all the cases. This must be in BCNF. Okay, must be in BCNF. So if your relation has two attributes, if you have only two attributes, then your relation will definitely be in BCNF because four cases will be possible. Okay, and in each case, your relation is in BCNF. Okay.